In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Colossians chapter 3, verses 4 to 11, and Luke 17, 12 to 19. And I want you to concentrate on the very first words that you would have read there. Christ, who is our life. The question is this, is Christ really your life? You know how it is when you, when you go to a wedding, especially when I go to a wedding and I take the wedding, quite often the young couple, or sometimes old couple, will say to me, well the thing, Father, is that that, that woman, she's my life. You see, Father, that man, he's my life. And is that the way you are with Christ as well? Is he really your life? Because that is the whole key to everything else you read in both of those passages. You know, St. Paul goes on about uh, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, covetousness, which he calls idolatry, anger, wrath, malice, slander, foul talk, lies, snobbery. You know, are you Jewish? Are you Greek? Are you circumcised? Uncircumcised? Are you a barbarian or ugh, a Scythian? I'm not really quite sure what a Scythian is, but are you a Scythian? Are you slave? Are you free? All that sort of snobbery. I suppose in our culture we'd think about what background we have, whether we're um, middle class, upper class, lower class, or rich or poor or whatever. Are we an immigrant or not an immigrant? And so on. Now, that way of thinking actually makes you leprous. You become a leper if you're fornicating, or have impure thoughts, or passionate, or have evil desires, or have foul talk, tell lies. You're a leprous person. You're leprous if you are eaten away with snobbery. Well, of course, I am cradle orthodox. <laughs> so what? I happen to be a um, convert. Both are nonsense, of course, because in Christ there is only you, you and him. So whether you're a slave to these things or free from them, you're always in Christ. And these things make you leprous. And if Christ is actually our life, those things fade away, they disappear. And he's able to cure you of them, just like he did with those ten lepers who came to him. And just like the one of those ten lepers who turned back, having seen that he's now clean, or with you, you're no longer a fornicator. You no longer slander others. You no longer a snob. You no longer take pleasure in anger, wrath, malice, slander, foul talk, lying. Your passions, your covetousness, your idolatry. And then what do you do? You turn back to Christ again and again. Keep on turning back to him, as you realise, today I've been made free of my leprosy. And you should praise him. You come and you thank him. And your whole being will be filled with love and praise for God. Not because God actually wants your praise or needs it, but because our natural inclination, when we find ourselves free of this leprosy of foul talk, free of worrying about whether I'm a barbarian or a Scythian. When we find ourselves free of this leprosy, our natural inclination is one of praise and thanksgiving. So, Christ, who is our life, makes you free also of leprosy. So let us join with that ex-leper, and thank and praise God with him. Your prayers. God bless you. Amen.